Hey, before we get into this video, um, I just wanted to share that, you know, this is a little bit of a different video than I normally post. And what's interesting is the concept of it. I already knew what I wanted to talk about, obviously, before I filmed it and as I was filming it. Um, but little did I know that shortly after finishing filming this video, hours after, um, I got in a car accident that was really bad. And uh, it's chilling to, you know, what you guys are about to watch and the, the message that I talk about throughout the video. How much more that rings true in my life now and in my perspective. Um, so yeah, um, enjoy the video and I hope you, at least a couple of you, take away something from this video. So, alright, love you guys, enjoy. Something I've realized as I've gotten older is that the older I get the more I lose. But uh, don't worry, this isn't gonna be a depressing video. I have a point. Um, let's go on a road trip. I love you, buddy. Be good, okay? Where's my blow up bed? Ooh. Found it. Mm, that's gonna take two minutes. Oh my gosh! <laughs> okay. Hello, Mama. Good morning, Catherine Good morning. Good morning, father. Good morning, daughter. <laughs> Over the last seven months, my life and my perspective on life has changed pretty drastically. I had to put my dog down. Never had to do that in my life. Shortly after that, my Aunt Ruthie passed away, pretty much out of nowhere. And shortly after that, my grandfather also passed away. And that one, that one was completely out of the blue. And that's why I'm on this road trip. We're going to Sacramento to take care of my aunt's house one more time and say goodbye for the last time. Hello guys! I'm currently in Sacramento because I'm with my mother and my father, as you saw, and we are here to finish cleaning out my aunt's house because it's gonna sell. And uh, yeah, that's why we're here. Just some random guy staring at me talk to a camera. Anyways, <laughs> we're in traffic right now. We're going to pick up. She got uh, my aunt's really, really cool uh, mid-century couch reupholstered, so we're gonna go pick that up, and then we gotta go back to the house and do a bunch of movement and stuff like that. So that's why we're here, and that's why you're with me. And that's it. Back to you. Now before you start thinking this is a video all about my struggles, I promise you it's not. I just wanted to take a second to share my new perspective because I think it's important and I think, um, I think it could help some people. So, I'm 27 years old and for the first time in my life, I think it's finally hit me that I'm getting older and there's no stopping that. I'm at an age where people I love the most are gonna leave me and that's a hard pill to swallow but I also think it's a beautiful opportunity. By that I mean that the moments that I have left with the people I love mean so much more to me now. Not that they didn't before, it's just different. The woman that was living in this house meant so, so much to me, but I really don't think I realized just how much until she was gone. This was a moment of clarity. To spend time with the ones that I love and tell them how much I love them. Take little snapshots of the moments that I have with them. Even if they seem insignificant, because the truth of the matter is, it could be the last time and there's no warning for that. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. Listen to uh, Delbert McClinton, Lyle Lovett, and John Prine sing my theme song called Too Much Stuff. 
<laughs> That's, uh, that rings way too true for you guys right now. <laughs> They've got so much stuff at the house from cleaning out this place. And it's been months, months of, of this process. Yeah. Yeah. We started in January and it's now June, what, 29th? Yeah. Yeah. Too much though, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, we're having a little, a little drinky poo and then I think we're gonna go grab some sushi in a little bit. And then tomorrow's the big day where we're moving a bunch of stuff. We also need to put that couch out on the street to give to people. Mm -hmm. Um, that's it. That's it. Talk to you soon. Talk, talk to you soon. You can't get a grip when you're <laughs> slipping in all that stuff. <laughs> you guys know the sub dudes? Probably not. Alright, apparently we're about to move a big old couch. We gotta move that. You excited? That's not exactly the word. Ah, you. Are you excited? Just can't do it. <laughs> pinching my fingers. They go by every night. Do they? And they're always talking. Yeah. That was like 50 conversations in one. It's like, you know, you know, you have tomato soup and you know, the diapers. What was that? Look at this oak tree. My dad likes this tree a lot. And so do I. It's very pretty. Yeah, this is kind of massive. And old. It's old. <laughs> Good morning. I barely slept last night. Per usual, I have to get ready in a hurry because I actually have a meeting and I need to go to the neighbor's house to take that meeting because there's no Wi-Fi here right now. Wow, I'm so tired. This is rough. My dad would just want to go get me Starbucks though. I honestly will probably just catch you guys after the meeting because I'm going to be rushing here for a bit. And, uh, you know, eventually I'll tell you what I'm having all these meetings about. Yeah. Hi, okay, the meeting went great, and we've already moved the big old desk because we had to have the neighbors help us because it's like 105,000 pounds. Actually, no. Um, there's only one- Hi! <laughs> only That's my parents. Box. Pretty much today is just going to be spent moving. Lots of stuff. With my papa and my mama. <laughs> Let's get into it, shall we? Um, uh, okay, let me get around this. I don't know if we need to go for now. Huh? Okay. No, just my toe. No. I got, <laughs> just I got toe. shoes. I got shoes on. <laughs> okay. With big, big ass rubber toes. Yeah, that's uh, good. You need big ass rubber toes. Really quick. Okay, fix me up. Hi guys, my mom oh. thinks she looks terrible, and I would love it if you could flood the comments. No. And tell her how beautiful she is no. because she's a beautiful woman, and she's always super self-conscious by the way that she looks, and she's gorgeous. And so. it's because we're moving and exactly. I, but so, but okay. Anyway, hi. <laughs> <laughs> so in this video, I'm kind of just talking about my experience so far aging and uh, figuring all of that out. So my question to you is, throughout you know the life that you've lived so far, I guess what is the biggest takeaway that you would like to tell people to think about as they age? Well, you know, Catherine is talking about this exact experience that we're going through. That was nice. I hope it wasn't a spider. <laughs> 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 kind of looked like it and felt like it. You know, we're, we have been emptying out my husband's aunt's and uncle's home since about January and they both passed away. We loved them dearly and they lived in this house for about 55 years. So when you start going through a home that someone has lived in for that long, you know, you're going through personal things, you're going through love letters and Christmas cards and photographs and it just sort of makes you realize that people's lives are so full of love and family and my advice would be cherish your loved ones, even when they annoy you. Cherish your parents, your grandparents, your siblings. Tell them that you love them whenever you get the opportunity because those are the, memory, the memories that you're gonna carry for the rest of your life and you don't wanna ever have regrets about not saying I love you as many times as you possibly could have. Nobody ever gets tired of hearing that. 
the memories that you carry in your heart, that's what keeps your loved ones alive. Because when they're gone, you can't bring them back and you miss them terribly. So that's all you can do is just in that moment, give as much love as possible and as much appreciation as possible. And you'll always be happy that you did that. You're making me cry. I'm making myself cry. Love you, Mama. Love you too. Love Papa. I guess my question is, what do you think is most important in life? What's most important in life? I don't know about important, but um, the things you know that I treasure most in my life so far, you know, my family, my marriage, my friends, and I was talking with um, somebody the other day and we were talking, you know, that's the spice of life is, is being with people that you, that you respect, you see eye to eye with and you enjoy and um, being the best person you can be to them and for them and, um, you know, always be present in those uh, relationships to the best of your ability for the time. You can only do the best you can at the time. And there are things that I look back and regret. That's where I was at that point. That's what I did at that point. And you know, there there were reasons for it then. And I learned from it. The people I was with learned from it. We're all part of a, a greater plan. And um, just be the best person you can. And if you're blessed enough to, you know, surround yourself with really good people. Yeah, I like that. Love you. Love you too. Okay, guys. We're uh, done, which means this is the last time I'm getting emotional. <laughs> uh, but I'll be in this house. I'm getting very emotional. Um, weird, weird feeling. <clears throat> uh, so many memories here, times here, growing up here, visiting here, and sleeping in this room. There was a pull-out couch and a twin bed, and me and my brother would have to share this room all the time, and. It's been a long day. I got no sleep, so what a weird, weird feeling. But that's why it's important, because these moments make me realize how important the people that I love are, and how I never know when it'll be the last time I see them, um, or spend time in a special place. So yeah, I don't mean to make this like a sappy vlog, I think ultimately just uh, expressing that it's important. And that's something I've really learned lately. So, I'm gonna say my goodbyes to this house now. <sighs> okay. When I was young, and don't get me, don't get me wrong, I'm still young, I know. But when I was like a teenager, I always had people tell me that life goes by so quickly. And if I, as the 27 year old that I am now, could go back and talk to that teenage girl, I would tell her they're right. And I, I didn't know exactly what they meant until now. So if you're listening and you're young or you're old or whatever, please take the time to be around the ones that really, truly matter. Let go of the crap that doesn't matter. Forgive, love, experience life. And what's even more chilling while editing this video and, and doing this voiceover is that I know as soon as I close that door, Four hours later, I could have lost my life, and I had no idea. And I hope that you take something away from that. I know I did.